all, Rusty RV TV. Welcome! That's Tyson Wells Game Store. And right there is the Tyson Wells RV Park. Look at all them sights. Okay, I thought today we're going to go look around town. I'm going to show you from the air. We're going to fly the drone a lot. And uh, I keep getting the same question over and over and over. What RV park do I recommend? And, you know, where are they at? And all that. How much? I really can't answer it all. There is... I asked the uh, Chamber of Commerce. And they said it's safe to say there's over 60 RV parks. And they said more realistically, it's the number's a little over 70 in this area that are open and active. There's a few parks that have closed down. And so, to each his own, I mean, they're in all different locations, all different price brackets. It's just different. Now, I've stated a few, and I'll get into those in another video. But this video here, I'm just going to show the areas, mainly from the air. And I don't know the names of all of the parks, either. So, I'm going to guess my way through it. But you're going to see from the air just how many they are and where they're at. Because there is a ton of it. <laughs> Quartzite's almost like one big RV park. And it has been for decades. I mean, this has been a winter getaway for a very long time. Great weather in the winter. Okay, this is the first little area. I'm going to cut over to the drone here in just a second. And you're going to see a few parks from the air. This is, uh, we're going north on Central Avenue. Okay, I'm one block off Central to the west. This is an old empty one right there. This is an empty one. Okay, right down there, I know the name of that. That's Shady uh, Lane. Look at all the sites. They don't open until October 1st. But across the street, there's RV parks. Now there's a look right there at Central and Main. Those are all businesses. There's the big RV dealer there. Way across is Tyson. But straight down, there's another RV park. You know, and some are small. Some just have a few sites. And they're in these neighborhoods too. Also, private property. You can rent RV sites from private individuals. But Quartzite also cracked down on that. If they collect money on a private property for RV sites, they are deemed and have to follow the rules like an RV park for paying the sewer fees and all that. So that's a different world. That's all their politics and town hall stuff. But but there's listings if you check the papers and Craigslist you can find RV sites that are privately owned here. Alright, let's just go up the road here just a few blocks. We're still on Central heading north. VFW there right there on the right. And a lot of commercial buildings along to here. There's more RV parks, on, mainly on the left. Even uh, that RV pit stop, he's got RV sites. I mean, they're everywhere. <laughs> everywhere you look. Okay, let's cut over to the drone about right here. Okay, hey, up we go. Okay, looking straight out. That's looking straight out towards Town Park. Most of those are residential areas in there, but most of them properties also have RV hookups. You'll see, you can see multiple RVs on properties there. And here's a good look. That's looking, uh, God, what are those? I don't remember their names. But, um, and they run specials too. In, starting October, these guys get real competitive. You can stay in a park really cheap. Now look through the neighborhoods. That's looking back towards uh, downtown. In those areas, a lot of private properties, but 
some have uh, RVs on them. It's just everywhere. A lot of mobile homes. And then that's looking up, up central. But you can see right here. And we're about halfway up central towards Tyson Street. That street right there is Chandler. You know, Quartzsite ain't that big. It's not that big of a town. And that's looking off towards the south. But once again, there's RV parks everywhere. Check them out. Probably the best thing to do is call the chamber. I'm going to put their number up here towards the end of the video how to get information on all this because a lot of these parks belong to the Chamber of Commerce and they'll mail you information directly to you or email it. Okay, let's just go up a little ways. I'll fly again. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> but we got a lot of ground to cover. I think it's important to see it from the air when you see how much there is around and you see the ones on the main drags but there's so many off the beaten path too and they're all got their unique uh, group of people that stay in them different pricing once again you got to do your research a little bit all right let's cut back over the drone that was coil run there on the left Okay, up we go. Okay, there's that one. I think that's at JR's. But here's scanning down. One's called Split Rail. You can see how big they are. Now you got private homes in there. Then there's that J and there's that quail one. That quail whatever it is. That's a brand new park. And that's looking back down towards uh uh, Main Street. And then that's off towards Town Park there. Where that serious garden. There's the little airport. There's the little uh, RC airport. Then that's all either BLM or state owned land out there. You cannot camp on that. Fire department up the road. But you can see some of these parks are huge. They got hundreds of sites in them. So, so you you can easily find an RV site here, and you don't have to be that close to the freeway either. These here, you don't get all the traffic noise. It's one of the advantages to being out this direction because we're quite a ways away. Okay. Well, we're going to keep on moving. We're going to head up to Tyson Street, and we'll go down that direction. Back on the road. Isn't it amazing when you see it from the air how many there are? I mean, it's something to see. Because off the street, they don't look that big. But you can see just how deep they go. They go way back. Okay, we're going to make a left here on Tyson Street. Now, right out here is also the state trust land. Right here on the right, and then down farther is the state trust land. You can camp for 14 days, get a permit, but we're checking out RV parks today not state land so let me get pulled over here and we'll go back to the drone Here we go all right we're at the north end of town that's actually Tyson Wash that's where it, all the water roars through there when the heavy rains it's supposed to 
That's a storm drain system for this whole area. Okay, straight on. That I'm pretty sure that's called Desert Dogs. And there's another park in there called Twos with a T. Then there's some smaller parks, I believe, in that area. There's a bunch of churches out there. And then on both sides of the wash, those are small RV parks. Individual parks there. Which you can camp right there. If you're into four-wheeling, it's a good place. And that's looking back down towards uh, downtown, way out that direction. We can see how they laid out quartzite in between all the washes. But once again, there is a lot of sites in those areas. Those parks aren't that small, especially twos. They cover a long area. Okay, let's pan around real quick. There's the wash that drains the water away from Quartzsite. There's Highway 95 heading up towards Parker. Quartzsite Fire Department and a helicopter there. Meta, Medicare, whatever, or Medivac. Whatever they call it. And that's looking back down at the parks we just seen earlier. And we're only getting started. We got a bunch more to go. <laughs> more parks. This is your aerial RV park guide for Quartzsite by RV or TV. All right. Back to the van. All right, well, let's head over to the east end of town, and then uh, we'll cut back uh, to the west on Main Street, check out some RV parks. But over on the east side, there's uh, some big ones. And up here, there is a little medical center with a couple doctors, they do imaging and whatnot. Care flight, that's what the name of that thing is, a helicopter. <laughs> See what happens. Right here on the left, that's the medical center, fire department and the care flight. Okay, around the corner, it turns from Tyson Street, now we're on Plymouth. If you remember, Plymouth is where City Hall, Town Hall, dog parks, everything's down here. Yeah, check it out. Let's pull in here a sec. Here's the dog park. They actually got grass. <laughs> grass is rare in the desert. But they just built this new one. Look at the size. Because of the demand on them two small dog parks, quartzite Spent the money, they just fenced it. They're seeding it right now. That's all going to be grass in there, too. So now there's going to be uh, three dog areas to bring your dog to court in quartzite. Which is important. Can't forget the furry ones, huh? <laughs> all right, back on our RV park mission. Ready. That's a courthouse on the left. There's the airplanes on the right. You know where we're at. This is East Quail Trail in Plymouth. We're going to make a left. And we're going to go. I'll show you. There's some really big RV parks right down here. And if you followed me before, you know this park, Arizona Sun. I've stayed there more than once. Like I said, I'm not going to review parks or anything like that right now, but I am going to show you where they're at the best I can from the air, so you can get, get a feel to where they are around town, where you want to stay. This is Arizona Sun. Okay, let's switch over to the drone. Okay, 
Okay, up we go. Now these are big parks here. Arizona Sun. There's a hundred and almost hundred and forty spots. You can see there. Now look out a ways. There's town hall. There's a water treatment. Okay, let me pan around here. Now you see that right in front? Those are private uh, deeded lots, but they do rent sites. You can actually rent one. There's another big one right there. That one I know the name. It's called Park Place. And then there's Regals. So these are three big boys down here, and they hold a lot of rigs. You can see I-10 straight off. But these fill up. But we're on the east end of town. East side of Quartzite. That's looking off to the west right there. All right. Back to the van. All right. Let's keep trucking we're going to go up here and make a left and then we'll cut on down the main street right there on the left that's those uh, privately owned lots but you always see a lot of for sale and for rent signs hanging on that fence and that's all state land right there and BLM because of the wash system around here, you can't camp in certain areas or build. But all these parks are different. Like right here on the left, there's Regals. But look how close the sites are to the road. I mean, you're right on the street. So they're all different. Once again, you got to check them out. What I've recommended to people in the past, if you want, stay in the desert for a day or two and run around town before you decide on a park. You know, really scope them out before you commit to one over the phone. Unless you really know that's what you want. And once again, these guys are going to run specials. Usually October and November, they, they get real competitive on their pricing. They want you to stay. Okay, I'm going to cut over to the drone. Right across the freeway, there's some parks. It is the southeast corner of Quartzite. Yay. That's Mormon Church down there. That's a big mobile home park. There's a few RV parks all intertwined right, right straight down. And that's looking down towards that Roses RV park in Central Ave. Okay, we'll keep on trucking. All right, that was a quick look over on uh, the other side of the road. There's several parks in there. Plus where that Mormon church is, that's a huge community. There's empty lots. There's also a ton of mobile homes in there, which you can buy them, rent them. Pretty much everything in Quartzite's always for sale. <laughs> joke, that's a joke. Anyway, all right, we're heading down Main Street. Now when we get up here a little ways, there's not too much in the way of RV parks here. These are big commercial lots, been vacant for years. You can see remnants too of abandoned RV parks, where back in the heyday they were RV parks, but they never upgraded the electrical. So they just kind of went away, but you see remnants of them. Okay, there's Patty's RV Park on the left. And back in that area around uh, QIA, we'll launch a drone real quick. But uh, there's uh, several R small RV parks back in there. There's Crawford's on the left. That's a very old, old RV park. I stayed there many years ago. And there's, well, let's just go back around uh, QIA real quick. 
Okay, we're block off main. There's QIA. There's those parks. You can see some are pretty good size. There's the RV dealer on the corner lot. He takes up a big chunk, but he's actually got RV sites down there too. Hookups everywhere. And then straight across the freeway there is that uh, Rose's RV park. And those other ones way down by the church. Anyway, that's a quick look. Let's keep on trucking. Alrighty, back on Main. We're coming up to Central in Main. This is going to be a long video, folks. Watch it all. That's your assignment. <laughs> Joke. Yay. Alright. Let me get across. I'm going to pull on that lot right to the left. We're going to launch a drone from there. Get a good look at this area. Couple friends of the channel. Stop and see me flying the drone. Cool. We go. There's a gas station that's looking straight up central. That's where all those parks are. That's looking down towards uh, East Main. And there's a QIA building where we were just at. Those are all RV parks all around that QIA. Then the RV dealer there. There's looking straight across. Tyson Wells. You know, he's got an RV park, but he's also a showgrounds. So that turns into vendors later in the winter. But you can definitely stay there at his RV park. Call him up. That one I do recommend. He's my buddy. <laughs> There's the post office. All right, let's keep on going. All right, well, I'm going to pull in the uh, High Alley lot and launch a drone from there. Now give us a pretty good look at the parks going down this stretch of Main Street. Up we go. Okay, when I drive, do my drive arounds. I'm always on Main Street. Remember, I always say on the left is Holiday Palms. There's Holiday Palms. But look how it's right against the interstate. There's 88 Shades and B10 Campgrounds. They're right on that interstate right there. Then right down below us is that Hassler's. That's a cool park. They got a, like a metal museum made out of sculptures. Really cool. But look behind it. Those are all lots with RV. A lot of them are for rent and for sale. Now check this area out. This is in between Central and the back side. There's tiny little RV parks in there too. A couple of them are a pretty good size. I think that's Washington Street. Then swing back around and there's the post office. So this is pretty good luck. This is a real good look of the layout of where you can stay in quartzite in an RV park. So hope it helps you. But you can see, look how well maintained those parks are. I mean, not they got all the palms, they're green. You know, they're older parks. You know, when those parks were built, they weren't built for the big rigs of today. You know, a lot of upgrades to those things. Main Street only used to be a two-lane road. Uh, they upgraded that in the early 2000s. A lot of changes here in the last uh, 10, 15 years. All right, let's keep on going.
I've seen a lot of the changes, you know, it's it's been progress, I guess you'd call it. Okay, this is Moon Mountain Road. Now, this is RV Park stretch here too. Okay, on the right, right up here, there's that little church, that mission there, but also the Salvation Army thrift stores right there. The Senior Center, if you hear things about Senior Center, that's where they have it. There's their community building right there. As soon as you pass that, now it turns into nothing but RV parks and lots. Uh, some are called resorts. I don't know the name of them all, but they're on both sides of the road. A lot of park models. There's some storage buildings. Paradise is the name of that one. Once again, call the chamber. They got a list of the parks. They can give you some really detailed information of how to get a hold of the parks and get their pricing. Because a lot of these guys get sold out, especially when it gets into January. Depends how long you want to stay. Any more people stay in the desert. The desert. I haven't seen the desert as crowded as it's been in the last two years. It's just been amazing. All the people. Here's some huge parks up here too. The one on the left that's more of a mobile home park. Okay, let me go through the stop sign. I'll pull over to the right. We'll launch a drone. We'll get an aerial shot of this area here, this stretch of road. We go. That's the Quartzsite Elementary School. A lot of kids go there. I think from different towns, too. Okay, right there, there's that mobile home park, but look at all the RV sites. See, a lot of people, they rent them by the year, and they just leave their trailer set up like a park model. There's those resorts. You can see how they go back in there. Those are all rentable sites. Both sides of the road, all the way down to Main Street. And there's Tyson Wash. Look at that guy's property there. Look at all the concrete. That place is huge. That's a private piece of land. That's looking over towards Central Avenue. But you cannot camp or build in here. This is all state regulated for flood, flood control. That's looking up, back up towards Tyson. That's where we were just a little bit ago. We've kind of made a full circle. But we're not done. But wait, there's more. <laughs> All right, let me get landed here. But you can check it out. I mean, there it is. You can definitely find an RV park in sight in Quartzsite. You just got to look a little. continue up this is moon mountain yet we're gonna go up here we'll make a we'll just do a loop around go back down to main street but all these streets there's a lot of private property with houses and a lot of the houses have additional rv hookups but once again if you rent them for money now there's a bunch of different rules right there on the left this is uh RV park and there's smaller RV parks right here on the right. They're individual parks. I think on Google Maps you can find a lot of the names of these too. Okay, we're going to make a left up here. Back up here to Tyson. We kind of made a full circle all the way around. I'm going to cut on down the main street and then we'll go to the other side of uh, Interstate 10. Right 
here on the right, that's that state trust land. I've done videos. If you go back in my old videos and playlists, there's all kinds of videos about all these areas. When it gets into boondocking. And we're going to revisit that later on, probably in October. All right, this street here is Kofa with a K. You make a right. And then I want to go over the other side of the freeway. Alrighty, we're going to make a right here. This is Main Street, heading into downtown. Now off to the right, back by the High Jolly uh, Cemetery, there's uh, an RV park. And I know behind these buildings uh, you can set up RVs too. I think they have vending back there as well, with hookups. So back in the heyday, uh, this was all vendors on the streets and everywhere. You see remnants too in some of these lots where they had the old electrical. But once again, there is RV sites everywhere for rent. Now this main event, he shut it down a couple years ago. I don't see any activity there for the last couple years. There's definitely RV sites. And then on the other side of Carl's Jr.'s there, you can see where there's some uh, abandoned electrical. Probably from way back when. Okay, we're going to go across Interstate 10. This is famous Exit 17. Okay, I'll set up behind Love's there. We'll launch a drone. Do a quick fly around and then we'll head on down uh, queuing. Okay, up we go. I'm on the backside of Love's truck stop. That's looking right straight down at Desert Gardens RV Park. They're right on the backside of uh, Loves here. Straight on, that's Q, the community of Q Mountain. We can see the, all these areas. There's Loves. There's the old car dealer. But all these lots have old remnants of hookups. And on the other side of the freeway, that big dirt area, like that's what I was telling you about, that old main event, that was all covered years ago in vending and all kinds of activities, but no longer. All gone now. Okay, let me get landed. We'll keep on trucking. It's getting hot today, too. There's all kinds of ways to support the channel. Buy a cup of coffee, click on a link, shop on Amazon, get a t shirt or coffee mug. It all helps the channel grow. Helps keep me putting these videos out. It really does. And thank you to all that have done it already. Okay, we're going to go down here. I'm going to launch a drone one more time. I'll get down here close to Q Mountain. And I'll show you this area. Now, I know for a fact I've missed a lot. But I've covered quite a bit. And this will give you pretty much the layout of what Quartzsite is, the areas where most of the RV parks are, and where you can stay. And once again, get a hold of Chamber of Commerce. They will help you immensely on finding a nice place to stay. All right. Switch back to the drone. We'll launch here. This will give you a really good look at Q Mountain area and also the back side of the Main Street RV parks. Right up we go. Okay, that's looking down Interstate 10. 
There's Tyson Wells straight on. See, this is an RV park right below us here, right below uh, Lucky Spot, I think is the name, Lucky something. Been there a long time. See a lot of rigs. Okay, now here's a big community of uh, Q Mountain. Now there's RV parks within this community. Plus there's individual lots for sale. It's all intertwined. You, you just got to drive around and check them out. That's uh, Arizona State Corporate Yard there. That's where all the highway patrol and all their workers. And there's Desert Gardens. There's their showgrounds. Loves us down there. We were just down there. And then that's looking uh, over towards Maine. That's that old truck stop that's abandoned. Okay, here's a good look. There's the backside of uh, that B10 campground, 88 Shades, and Holiday Palms. That's Interstate 10. That's looking straight off at Tyson Wells, the big tent area, all that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, and I hope that answers. I get that question often. I mean, a lot. And I don't mind trying to answer, but it's almost impossible. There's so much here. Anyway, get a hold of the chamber for more information on a lot of these parks. In time, I will be more detailed on the ones I've stayed at and good ones to go to. All right. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helps. There's the chamber number and information. Also, you can look on Desert Messenger newspaper. A lot of these parks advertise. And they also run their specials. Check out Desert Messenger newspaper. That's a local paper here in Quartzite. Alrighty, pack your bags. We're heading out. We're heading north this coming week. So, that'll be the next few videos I should be on the road late tomorrow afternoon which would be Sunday and then start filming on Monday yay and it is hot here alright well that's the end of it talk soon <laughs>